All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. Got a new video, another video for you today on the new Coyote NS6010. Um, as you've seen, we have purchased this. We're excited to have it here, but we wanted to bring you a new video today on the grapple that we have and we purchased for this piece of equipment. Um, so we're going to jump into, number one, a review. We're going to give you an overview of that uh, grapple that we chose to purchase. Also, we're going to give you the features on it. We're going to show you the installation process, how easy it is to put onto the Coyote tractor. Um, we're going to give you some performance and functionality uh, review on it. And then we're also going to maybe give you some pros and cons that we feel uh, for our use so far that we've seen. Um, I think it's going to be a great video. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right in. We're trying to beat the rain today. It's supposed to rain a little bit. We do need rain, but we're going to see if we can get this content out to you real quick. And let's roll. All right, so it's quick and easy how to do this. It's a quick steer attach. All right. It's a skid steer attach. I don't know why I say quick steer. I think I'm used to a uh, quick attach system for the John Deere tractors. A skid steer. All you do is pull these up. We're going to release that, pull out, and we'll get the grapple. All right, so now we got it uh, hooked up. We just got to lock it down on the skid steers. You just push these down. I'm sure I, most of you guys know how to, to operate a skid steer. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's actually a really nice function there. So you push that down. Then we're going to ho hook up our third function, hydraulics. And these, the way these work, is there's a male and a female, so you can't mix it up. You can't reverse them. So that's good. Um, you don't have to worry about that. Always, I make sure when I hook up hydraulics to make sure they're clean. Last thing you want to do is, uh, I mean, you can get you an old rag. This one is pretty clean there. Uh, but you don't want to be putting old nasty junk potentially into your hydraulic system. So just make sure there's no dirt on there when you put it on. Those are hooked up. Get this kind of down in there. This is the hydro or the grapple that we chose to purchase for the Coyote tractor. It is a iron craft grapple. And this is a 60 inch. I didn't want a real big one because I use it for picking up firewall firewood poles and cutting them up. I didn't want I wanted the least amount in here but also one that's big enough to where you can do things that's not under kill for the um 60 horsepower tractor here so this is a 60 inch it does have two uh teeth here with two cylinders hydraulic cylinders i don't know about that feature yet um some people like to have two different ones some people like to have one where it's just one full basic tooth that grabs on um, I have noticed with the uses that I've already used with it, that it's kind of neat when you're picking up maybe one firewood pole on this side. You don't have to put it all the way in. It'll just grab it. Um, but I think that would do it with one cylinder too, but I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the difference between two and one. Um, this one has two. I haven't had any issues with it or seen anything that, uh, anything other than that. Yeah. But anyway, so it has a real rust robust design has these real nice gripper teeth here with some real nice claws um so you can literally just grab on the logs and pick them up you don't actually have to get them all the way in and we'll show you that here later but it does have a pretty wide mouth i'll open it up and show you uh, let me do that real quick all right so there you go um you can see how wide of a mouth that opens up to be you're probably talking i don't know probably 30 inches there not quite three feet um, but in here you have a good good amount of room but that'll give you some good where you can pick up maybe two or three logs depending on their size 
So let's get this thing down there and start giving you a practical use of, of what it is. Um, I don't know the exact specs on how much it, like pressure-wise or, or all that stuff. You can look it up. But this is one. I, it was a lot cheaper than some of the other brands. This one cost us $1,400. So that's a pretty good price for a grapple, I think. So let's get down here and give you a real life use. Let me know what you think. All right, so let's go ahead and use the grapple first and foremost. Uh, some performance on picking up logs. We're gonna see how it, it bites down on it. If we have to put it all the way in, I know we don't have to put it all the way in, but we're gonna show you kind of how the different functions you can use with it. Hang, pick a log up on the end, um, do all those things, and, and just give you a good real-world test of this this grapple here, this iron crab. So let's go right ahead and get into here. All right, I want to give you a uh, quick, show you how fast this can cycle at an idle, mid throttle, and full throttle. So you can see how fast you can actually work to grapple. This is at an idle. We'll go mid throttle. Pretty quick. This is wide open. Pretty fast. So my wife uh, wants me to move this, even though I put this rock here for it to uh, protect the the mailbox because it's been ran over before. I mean, it's a pretty good sized rock. I mean, you're talking hard to tell how much it weighs. I don't know, but it's a good sized rock. Let's bring the uh, grapple over here to the tractor and pick this bad boy up just to show you and we're going to move it around.
This will show you how well this can grab. This the one cylinder. Okay. I mean, look at that, guys. That's some strength if it can just grab it like that. That's a big old rock. And that's barely holding on. Now we'll pick it up a little bit better. This is one, one area where that wide mouth really helped. Now we got it. That's on there solid. Show you what it looks like. I'm not gonna rattle around. It's got a good grip on it. guys i hope you've enjoyed the video in regard to the iron craft grapple hope you learned something about it you know one thing about it it has a really good maneuverability you can literally pick up rocks like you've seen and place them exactly where you want the way that this grabs down you don't have to have it all the way in as far as a log or a rock or debris or anything like that as long as you can pinch it it's got enough pressure there that it'll hold on to it even at the weight of that rock i mean that rock was a there's no way me and you are moving that, you know, by hand. So um, it has great features in regards to that. I love how wide-mouthed it is. These, these teeth are real nice if you're trying to grab onto logs and things like that. So uh, for pros and cons, um, there's a lot of pros with this. I mean, it's, it's a fairly light grapple. Um, you're going to be able to do quite a bit, um, especially with your loader capacity. Um, so it gives you the ability to pick up more heavier stuff. Um, you know it opens and closes extremely quick even at an idle speed it's it's reasonable and manageable um as far as cons i really haven't seen any cons so far we're going to keep using it. it it's you attach it real simple the three point hit or the third function is easy to hook onto. the two cylinders i've i haven't had any issues with the two cylinders i've never really operated a one but i don't know the difference really and it i don't think there's much of a difference from what i can tell so pros and cons i really don't have any cons on it so far if i see any or come up with any i'll let you guys know if, if you have any that you've experienced put it in the comments so everybody else can see um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you learned something i would definitely recommend this iron craft especially for the price fourteen hundred dollars and you can't beat a, a nice size grapple like this it's going to do a lot of work for you um on your property so without further ado you know make sure you hit that like and subscribe button we couldn't do this without you and we appreciate every one of you coming back again and until next time here on hill creek outdoors we'll see you